Welcome to my neat and tidy bedroom. I'm Amy, this is my husband Scott, and we're from Long Island. I'm a producer for Elvis Duran on the Morning Show, uh, based at Z100 in New York. I am the epitome of OCD, neat freak. He is the hoarder of all hoarder. I'm not a hoarder, I like to save things. I've One been... or two, I get it, but you have like 50 of each item. It's hard for me to let go. Oh, okay. This is my pride and joy, even though it is not mine. It is Scott's closet. Amy is so neat. I mean, there's a place for everything and everything in its place. That's <laughs> her. I'm afraid to take t-shirts out of my closet because they're all in color order. If I want one that's on the bottom, I'm not going near it because I might mess the pile up. Butter makes me absolutely crazy. My motto is organize life, organize mine. And my motto is keep it. You might want to look at it one day. <laughs> <laughs> if you walk into the house, you'd never know that I live here because I keep everything hidden in the attic or in the basement or in the garage. He rigged our attic so I can't get in it now. That's where I keep all my stuff. <laughs> I have to push this over. If you don't do that, it won't open. So she can't reach it, <laughs> so she can't come up here. This is all my stuff. Well, most of it. I've been in radio for almost 30 years and I have t-shirts, hats, every jacket from the radio station that I've ever been issued, CDs, cassette tapes. This is nothing. I have probably three or 400 t-shirts. I have every license plate that I've ever had in my car since you know I've been driving. This is my first cell phone that I ever had. There's some sentimental value to it, but then I've kept every subsequent phone after that. I have every credit card that I've ever had since 1993. I don't know why, but it's just something that I keep. Expired for what? I, I don't know. This is kind of the overflow from the attic. It's all down here in the basement. On the flip side, I'm also a couponer, so I can't pass up a good deal. This is my coupon corner, <laughs> where all my couponed items are stored. This is the one area where I'm very like together with stuff. And I like things to be in order in my closet with all my supplies. If anyone out there has any tips in how to manage this mess, please let me know. Are you calling me a mess? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we go on trips, we bring back little knickknacks. I'm basically bringing back the little knickknacks. My name is Arlene. This is my husband, Mark, and we are from Baldwin, New York. We've been married a long time, 31 years. They've been glorious, uh, and that's what she told me to say. Thank you very much. <laughs> when we were dating, I used to go to his house, and it was relatively neat. After I went to his apartment more often, I began to see the real Mark, and he was a little on the messy side. His collections pretty much take up our entire house. He is obsessed. It's funny, I start out, everything is neat, and within a couple days, everything is scattered, I got stuff, I got boxes. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> I collect everything, baseball cards. Artwork, figurines. Cars. Uh, that's a nice one. I have a huge collection, and I don't even have to gas them, I don't have to fix them. All I have to do is put them on display. At one point, we had about 50 to 100 birds. We had 1,500 plants. It didn't happen all at once, but she would have thrown me out of the house. So it happened in a gradual sense. I am recently retired. I realize that it's time to clean our house out. Mark and I anticipate within the next couple of years selling our home and moving into a condo. It's going to be a third of the size of this house. It is extremely difficult for me to get rid of my things because they're a part of me. For instance, I have a, a collection of African violet plants. Now, I hate African violet plants, but why do I keep them in my collection? Because my mother loved African violets. I can look at some of the baseball stuff that I collected as a kid, and I can remember exactly how I felt at six. It's an emotional thing, I think. I love my husband probably more than life itself. I truly do understand that many of his collectibles are close to his heart. I know we have to make changes. It's not going to be easy, but it has to be done.